morning everybody welcome back to model cars and coffee and right here we have a steaming cup of coffee and I think it was last week guys were showing what coffee they drink well I don't have the bag with me but what I drink is a Costco blend and I believe it's Starbucks actually but it's packaged as Costco so anyway this is basically a uh, bench update slash model cars and coffee. So this is my 57 Ford Del Rio Ranch Wagon. It's the Ravel, the Ravel version, the Ravel kit. Um, dusty, dusty, dusty. So dusty in here. Um, but so, so far what I've gotten done is I got it in paint. I painted it. Um... The paint came out pretty nice, so I decided not to do any um, clear coat on it. But what I did while, last night while I was sitting here watching the Dodgers beat the that New York team, whatever they are, in the World Series, um, I gave it a quick um, polishing. I didn't do any sanding. This is just strictly uh, polish and waxing. And um, I, I think I like it. Um, came out pretty nice, actually. I'm actually pleased with myself with a paint job for once. Well, not for once, but, <clears throat> excuse me, for this one. Um, I still need to do bare metal foil and the insert decal on the side stripe there. Um, also, what I was doing was I got the... I got the interior flocked for the most part. I still have to do around here in the back on the on the back um, wheel wells. Um, this part right here, I think, is going to be light. I'm going to paint it light gray. And as you can see, the door cards are in a two-tone green motif. So this this is deep green XF twenty six. Um, the lighter green is sky. It's XF twenty one. And then the body color is oh Jew. I don't have the, the cans up here, but the body colors are both um, Tamiya paints. They're rattle can, and it's. Um, this one is, I don't know what the numbers are offhand, but the white is a is just a pearl white, and the green, uh, I don't even know what color it is. It's a green, pale, it's a pearl pale green, I believe it is, or something like that. But anyway, um, you know, I'm working on the chassis, was working on the chassis last night. Um, the, the frame and the chat and the, the interior pan are not married up yet. They're just sitting together uh, Using aftermarket wheels tires. These are Jay's resin wheels from um, eBay and those are the stock well, those are the kit um, hubcaps <coughs> Excuse me And in the background you can see the motor I've got started um, I haven't done very much to it. <clears throat> I still have some more painting to do on it. Uh, and here you see on this side, you can see the chassis for my U USAC build. Yeah, chassis and motor. And there was something else I wanted to show you. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me again. My wife came back from Oregon. And she brought me back this bottle of whiskey. Uh, looks good. I'm going to have to try some of it tonight. Uh, I know that's expensive whiskey. If it's made in, it's brewed in Oregon. Brewed? Sounds like coffee. It's made in Oregon. Alright, so that's about all I've got right now. Um, one, two, three... So I have four kits prepped. Uh, I have one kit that needs to be 
All the interior parts, the chassis and everything needs to be painted yet. And I'm going to try and do that today. I think today and tomorrow, the last two days, I'm going to have the paint. Because after that, it's going to be in the 50s and lower. So I'll try and get that painted today. Uh, finish up the interior painting on this. I have to do the seats. Two-tone the seats on those. And then I'll be ready for winter, I guess. <laughs> Not physically, but... Model wise, I will be. Oh, I know what I was going to show you guys. So, if you guys ever buy flocking, I found this. Let me move you up a little bit here. I found this of all places at Hobby Lobby. And it's $4.99 for this big old bottle. Well, it's not, it's not full, it's about halfway full, or three quarters, eh, not even three quarters, about half. But it's 1.76 ounces of flocking. And they had some pretty nice colors. This one is a little darker than I really wanted to go with the interior on this. But it fit the bill. So that's what I got. Um, so if you're looking for flocking, I mean, geez, that thing is... That would last me forever. It will last me forever because I won't do that many green interiors. But uh just thought I'd share. The other thing I used from Hobby Lobby, which... They no longer carry, which is why I bought that huge bottle of flocking. Is this embossing powder? Um, this stuff is pretty good. I don't remember what I paid for it. It was that was like less than two bucks, or around two dollars. Yeah, there's no price on it. I don't remember what it was, what it cost. So that's what I had originally gone in to look for, and they didn't have it. But they had flocking, so I bought flocking. So if you're in the market for color flocking, Hobby Lobby, if you have one near you, that's a good place to go. So anyway, with that being said, all that, um, hope everybody has a great Sunday. Take care of yourselves. Have a great week. Take care of your families. Have fun. Build something. Um, and be kind. All right, you guys take care. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.